How you doing, everybody? Chaz here. Uh, been a while since I've been recording, cause I forgot. I'm sorry. And left with a couple of friends <clears throat> who had nothing to do but go snowboarding without telling me they were going snowboarding. I'm forced to record something. I haven't quite decided what yet, so... Hmm. So yeah. I decided. Just saying. Um... Let's play the Lawnmower Man! A game from my childhood that not until very, very recently was I able to beat satisfactorily. Where the crap is my controller? There's my controller. No, there's not my controller. That's my actual Xbox controller. There we go! Eh. Controller git. Joe, skip the story. This game doesn't really provide any kind of explanation on how to play it, why you're playing it, what to do, or why you're doing it. Or even so much explanation as to who it is that you're actually facing, or who you are. Oh shit, I died. I mean, oh crap, I died. Oh crap, I died. So other than some pretty bumping music and all my downloads being completed down there in the corner, I don't really know uh, what else to say about this game. I know it has a co-op function that can be fun if you enjoy suffering with your friends. Because this game is gruelingly difficult. And, uh, not that long. But, uh, on the actual console version, I don't think I've ever managed to get, like, more than halfway through. Even with another person. Like, I get stuck at the same part with another person that I get stuck at with just myself, because that part is just so unbelievably difficult. But through the powers of rewinding slash save state magic, I think, I think we can manage. Ow! Um, yeah, that happens. So this is a really cool three-dimensional part that harnesses the full graphical capabilities of the Super Nintendo. Allowing for 3D antics. Or at least 3D seeming antics. Why do I have a feeling that someone who is more gifted with Flash than me should make a Flash game that is something like this and call it, like, The Lawnmower Man? Or something. I don't know. Continue. I have already <laughs> run out of lives. I'm not even past the first virtual portal. Way to go, me. enough of that. Uh, I did that on accident. I didn't realize I was doing it. So, in closing, I don't apologize. I don't know why I'm doing There we go, is the exit. The big spinning exit word that means we leave. It's a monkey! Don't ask me why there are monkey soldiers. I cannot provide you an answer that makes sense to anyone else other than nobody. Oh, there's also a charge shot, so this is a very Mega Man-esque game, except it's a lot freaking more difficult. Jesus! Frick, I forgot about this dude. I'm gonna die. There we go, I exploded. Very easy to die in this game. You don't get health. You get dead. Oh, apparently you can kill that guy with the, like, super grenade launcher gun. Explode! The boss fights are not, that, or at least that boss fight is not particularly to, oh yeah, I get a gun upgrade. And it's time to fight a gangster. A gangster, not a gangster. There is a difference. And I got virtual armor, or virtual suit, and I got another gun upgrade, so that's cool. And I got a can of nuclear waste that I can jump on or shoot, depending on my mood. Whether I'm in a platformer or FPS mood. In this case, I think I'll take both. 
It won't. This part of this game is an FPS until slightly later. But yes, spoilers, it does get FPS esque. PS esque. That's weird. FPS esque. Frames per second. Lol. Probably, maybe. Yes, there he is. And it's a guy with a flamethrower. I wish all flamethrowers worked like that. How cool would that be? Aha, using my upgraded weaponry, I can shoot you without actually shooting you. I mean, you know what I mean. Ah, suit energized. Energized. Gun, get. Multiplier, get. Slow motion. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump. Nuclear waste is just put on the streets now. That's how this game is. Wonder how that happened. Yeah, so these terminals, I don't really know what they do, but they're weird. You gotta, you gotta like, spot the pattern, and you only have so much time, and if you're really bad at math, you can be, like, it, these can be problematic, because there are ones that involve numbers, even though there's just, what the hell, that one? That one! Yes, okay. Randomly guessing. Ah! They explode. Um, randomly guessing can help in those, if you don't know the answer right away. Oh, apparently five shots is the most powerful that your basic gun can get. Do -do 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 -do. Let's destroy a mailbox to get some money. I mean CDs. Because CDs are a valid form of currency. Let's rewind, because I had a lot of upgrades. Oh yeah, sucker. Nuclear waste. A dumpster. A gun upgrade that I don't need. Access granted. Player 1, entering Cyber War Zone 1. It's first person shooter time! Now we have, like, Mega Man gun from World War 2. We have a Mega Buster from World War 2. Uh, yeah. The reason I say it's from World War 2 is because the barrel kind of resembles that of the German Walther pistols. I think they're the P-38s. Could be mistaken. If I am, deal with it and correct me at the same time. So, these first-person shooter parts are not really too dreadfully difficult if you're mildly coordinated. You only have to kill so many enemies, not even all of them, just like five or so, and then you can proceed. However, you do have a health system, so if you die, then you die, and you have to go back and start from the beginning. Which kind of sucks in the later segments. Now we're back to awesome music. And there's a guy in that sewer? No, there's dogs. And that dog just jumped over me. And he's gonna come back and bite me in the ass. Literally. It's a hella chopta time for vehicles. I can still shoot from a vehicle. There's an R in vehicle. Shut up. It's a dog. I don't know why there's a fuel system because you can't fly beyond this point. That's dumb. Oh, poop. Crouching is extremely. It's the A team van! They're gonna throw mohawk grenades at us. Oh yeah, much multiplying, mo multiplying. Now up here is quite possibly the most difficult portion of the game. This is the part that I kept getting stuck at. It's a gas station. Doesn't look that intimidating, does it? Just a couple of simple, easy type bosses that spit fire at you, but their shots can be shot. So it's not that bad if their shots can be shot nerd. Except when you kill them, they evolve into a much radically more difficult form of said enemies, whose shots cannot be shot. Oh, by the way, what the triangle rounds do is they're now homing beacon kind of things. Save state, load state, load state. Save state. 
Save state. And once you destroy both of these fire gas terminals that occasionally spit jets of fire at you, uh, you get Fireman from Mega Man that doesn't exist though to show up. He is what makes this part of the game difficult. Oh god, it's Fireman. Go away, Fireman. Nobody likes you, and I lost my... Now I'm naked. He's not that intimidating, really. In, 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 until, in, until, unless until you lose your stuff. 